In this video, we're going to talk about the basics of animation in Blender. Blender offers a lot of unique opportunities as far as animation goes. First off, to begin just in general as far as 3D environments. Normally when you're working with animation, you can actually animate almost anything in the scene. This includes things such as the lights and the cameras along with any prims and models that you make as well. Now, by default, you pop up in the layout menu here. However, Blender does offer a tab specifically for animation. If we click on that animation pane, you'll notice that the interface does change just a little bit. You still have that layout mode on the right-hand side here showing your working environment. However, on the left-hand side, you now get a small sample window where you're actually seeing the camera view and what the user sees. From there, it has also decided to add the timeline down at the bottom here. Now a couple of things about your timeline. Right now, because I have nothing recording as far as adding keys in, there's nothing down here. Normally, on the left-hand side here under Summary, you'll see objects that have animations tied to them. On the right-hand side is where the keys are stored, and you can see the frame counters along the top here. I'd like to also point out all the way down at the bottom here, by default, you have a start and end time as well. You can continue to set as far as the end point for the final frame. You can extend this out. However, I'm going to do a very short animation in this video just to get you started. So I'm actually going to click on this and change this to about 75. You can tell on the timeline here that you've changed the span of the time here because notice that it's a lighter gray in comparison to the dark gray on either side. Now then, Let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about animation. It does help to plan a little bit as far as what would you like the animation to do. So what I actually want to do is before I do anything, I'm actually going to move my block here so that it's off the screen here. Now I'm, what I'd like it to do is I'm going to be keeping an eye on this left hand side here. I'd like it to come down into the camera view and then go off to the side here. So I'm just going to be mainly focused on location here. So a couple of things that you can do. There is under the animation, or under the timeline, there is an option. You really want to get comfortable when inserting a keyframe. You want to get comfortable probably with that keyboard shortcut there, S, because you're going to be doing that quite frequently. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come over and hover over my transform for my cube here on the right hand side under the properties inspector and I'm going to hit the S key. Notice now that the animation timeline here lights up not only showing the cube but also what are the cube actions, in this case an object transform. So now the next step is I'm going to go ahead and move this playback head to frame 30. So I want it to take about 30 frames and I'm going to reposition my cube here. So I'm working in this working environment, but I'm keeping an eye here on the overall design here as far as the layout goes. Once I have the cube in position of where I want it, I can go ahead, hit the S key again to insert another set of frames. And then lastly, I'll go ahead here, have it take a little bit longer, come out to that 70th frame here and pull it off to the side so that it's out of the view, and I'm going to hit S again to add those keys in. So now I can come down to the bottom here and hit the jump all the way to the start, and you can either hit spacebar or you can hit the play button, and here you can now see your animation play. I can also pause, go back to the start, but you also have these two little sub buttons here in case you're interested where you can actually jump to specific keyframes. So those are some of the basics as far as doing animation inside of Blender. Now, having said that, there's other things that you can animate as well, such as materials, that use the same concept here as far as going through and adding keyframes, but then editing specific transformational elements.